Hi, I'm Ben. I've just been out jogging for two or three miles. Well, would you believe maybe a fast walk? I'm 67 and I have to wear compression stockings. Now, if you're in the group that has to wear compression stockings that are prescription, then this video is for you. One of the heartaches that guys discover when they have to wear compression stockings is these darn things won't stay up. In fact, normally, how often do you find these compression stockings slipping back down and pretty soon these thigh high stockings are down around your calf or something? Actually, when they slip down, they're doing more harm than good because they, they're compressing on that saphenous uh, vein. So the question is, how do we keep these things up? Well, I've been researching this for over a year. I've engineered a whole bunch of different strange contraptions. None of them worked. And then I discovered it's already been solved on the market. There's something called It Stays, and it is an adhesive. It's water-soluble, so you can wash it off. But it's very easy to apply. Now, here's how you do it. You just take your stocking, and I'll demonstrate generally here. Fold it back, you take your it stays, it's a roller application, and you just roll it around the top edge of the stocking, then maybe make another circle around your leg. Once you do that, put your fingers under this cuff, pull it back, and you are good to go. You don't have to let each side dry like contact cement or anything like that. It will stay and last all day long. Now, I don't know what kind of uh, person you are. I don't know what kind of hat you wear. Maybe you're a sportsman. Maybe you, uh, you know, maybe you're a cowboy or something. Got to get out on the horse and ride the range. Maybe you're a construction worker. If you are active, you're going to find that your compression stockings are not going to do the job unless you can keep them up. Now, a lot of compression stockings are built with little silicon. Uh, drops on the inside and they're supposed to keep your stocking up. That works for maybe two or three weeks or more, but then they, they become useless. What I do is I order compression stockings without the little silicone tabs. Now I have to wear these thigh high stockings, so I order plain compression stockings. You can get open toe or closed toe. I like the open toe. Now one thing you need to be aware of, you can't really do this on the cheap. If you buy the cheapest line of compression stockings, they're going to fall apart. I made that mistake. They lasted two weeks, fell apart. And of course the distributor said, well, it's because you've got rough skin on your heel. Well, my goodness, you know, what guy doesn't? You know, we're born with rough skin. So I've discovered through a lot of trial and error that for me, the best brand was a very tough brand called Sigveris. This is a brand new pack, by the way, that I just got in. Now, if you order Sigveris, I order the 503T. It's called a, a rubber, uh, rubberized uh, stocking. That's just a name. There's, you don't see any rubber on this at all. It looks like cloth. It feels very good, but it's tough. It's man tough. Now, I know, guys, you're going to have a problem you know, if you're trying to wear shorts or something and you've got these compression stockings, that's why these are so great. The thin stockings, you know, they look feminine. Now the thick stockings, people are going to look at you and they're going to say, he must have a prosthetic leg or something like that, and they'll have sympathy. That's good. Or they're going to say, he's got a medical problem, and they're going to have sympathy. And that's good. But either way, you win. Now, if you're wearing these real thin nylons, uh, you're going to look a little weird out there. So, personally, these things have lasted me 10 months now. It's about time to change, or at least wash them. <laughs> a little humor there. <laughs> but, uh, but they have done wonderful. They've held up. Now, if you order Sigvera stockings, as with any stocking, over time they will stretch. For instance, this is a brand new pair of stockings. They've never been worn. If I unroll these, you can see they are going to be much shorter. 
looks like they're about six inches shorter than what I've got. In fact, they are when I measured them. They will stretch back to the level you want. So if you call a stocking company up, whatever brand you get, be sure and ask them, will they stretch? Now, if they're truthful, they, they'll say yes. So you order the shorter size that will fit you because that allows for the stretch. Now this It Stays can be bought online, anywhere, just Google It Stays. I buy these by the case, 12 to a case, and they run somewhere under $6 each. If you go to the wrong website, you can pay up to $18 or $20 even each for these things. But generally, most places will sell these for $8 or $9. Some places sell them singly for $6 or so, but if you buy them by the case, you get a discount. So that's the tip, to keep the stockings up, use an adhesive built for the job. I heard about a man the other day who went into a place to get stockings. He was a weightlifter, and what they told him was there wasn't any solution, and he was going to have to wear a garter belt. Now, I don't know about you, but, you know, my vanity just, you know, there's a, there's a line you don't cross, uh, and that, that would have been out for me. I can't imagine someone having to particularly a guy having to feel so degraded that he's got to wear a garter belt. You don't. The problem is, when you go to your stocking supplier, they never tell you about this. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they can't sell their cheaper brands if, if you're going to use an adhesive, because adhesive will probably just pull apart a cheaper brand. So for today, this may be one of the most valuable things that you'll learn about compression stockings. So now you know what works for me. It's the Sigveris brand, and it's the 503 series, 503T. It's a rubber type uh, series, and it holds up to anything that I, any kind of stress I want to put to it. I can go out and jog, I can work, do whatever I want, go dancing, I like to do East Coast Swing, and they don't fall down. And that's what I'm looking for. Now, there may be other brands that will be equally effective. I haven't tried all brands, can't afford to do that, but I'm just telling you what works for me. So this hopefully will be a real lifesaver for you because if you have a circulation problem, you need to be wearing your compression stockings and they need to fit and not slide down. If they slide down and crease a lot under the legs, then you're actually strangling off that greater saphenous vein that runs up the side of your leg and that's not good. So take a tip from me, get a good quality stocking, secure it with It Stays, and you're good to go. Well, have a good day and get out there and do manly stuff, whatever that may be. Enjoy your day. Thanks for watching.